Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I have a 2013 Jeep Patriot and I will show you how to remove and replace the engine air filter. This video will apply to Jeep Patriots made from 2007 all the way up to 2017. Now the engine air filter is located under the front hood just uh, under this cover under the PCM. Now one very important thing which I have to show you here uh, you don't want to disconnect the PCM while replacing the filter so you just want to kind of remove this cover and then replace the filter right even here you'll see uh, it's not recommended to disconnect the PCM that's the main vehicle a computer it's better not to touch this so you will not be touching these screws around here you'll, you'll be just lifting up the whole cover now the first thing you want to do you want to get rid of this uh, plastic piece uh, to do that you have just two like uh, plastic screws which you can turn by your hand to this position and then you can just lift this uh, this piece up and get it off the way very easy okay now the next thing you want to do you want to remove a couple of uh, screws holding the cover you will have two here on this side you'll have two in the back and you'll have one here and one just here now i had to use a bit of wd-40 because by the looks of it this was never removed on this car i just got this car off the car auction um so yeah now you want to remove these screws you shouldn't have to use wd-40 your screw should go out easily uh, like i said by the looks of it this was never removed it's not the smartest idea to use wd-40 around the air filter and the pcm but i just had no choice because i just couldn't remove those screws without damaging them okay now i have the four screws out two on this side this one and this one now uh, to reach the two back ones you will kind of need a specialty tools a small screwdriver or a small socket and still it's gonna be quite quite a challenge to get those screws out now by all means if you have the tools you can do it that way if not what i will recommend first now you want to remove this 10 millimeter screw right here because this is holding the cover as well so you want to remove this one and loosen up the other one Okay, now this is this guy and now just like I said you want to loosen up this one a bit not too much just enough so you can move this off the way and now what I will suggest now this whole piece will be loose right and it's being held only here by this it's being inserted here into this uh, uh, hole let's say now what you want to do you want to leave the whole box a bit up and then pull it over yourself and that way you'll get easier access to those two back screws so we'll try to record it okay just like that you see and now you can get this whole box actually all the way up and easily remove these two screws you see this is all now nice and loose okay now once you have these last two screws out you can just uh, remove the cover all the way off and like i said don't disconnect the pcm you don't have to do it right and here you have the access to the engine air filter and now to remove the air filter it will just slide off okay that's it make sure when installing the new engine air filter first clean this uh, box really good and then just uh, slide on a new filter and attach uh, back all the covers and uh, everything else and uh, that's it okay thank you for watching this video i hope it was helpful and educational if it was please like it and consider subscribing to my youtube automotive channel on my channel there is lots of how-to videos do-it-yourself videos 
car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.